A lot of people talking about Airbnb investing, folks. You guys know me. I'm the CEO of Holton Wise. We've done over $200 million worth of investment property sales in Cleveland. And yeah, guess what? If you didn't know, we do Airbnb as well. Today, I'm helping an investor do a Airbnb property on a golf course in Cleveland. So if you've ever considered investing in Airbnb properties in Cleveland and you want that to be passive, you want to do it out of state, this show is for you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today, I'm working with my man, We investor from New York. We, me and you, have been going back and forth. We've been doing some... Uh, Solid work together, building you a portfolio of high-end Airbnb properties, right? You're in New York. You couldn't sniff properties this nice uh, in New York for this price. No friggin' way. And today is no different. Today's show is going to be no different. We, today I got a property on a friggin' golf course for you under half a mil, right? What would something like this cost in New York? I could only imagine. So let's jump into the numbers. Let's jump into the details. Let's jump into the whole deal structure right now. Two, please. Welcome back. Let's pull up the numbers because if the numbers don't make sense, the property deal doesn't work. Sure, it's nice. It's beautiful, right? They got this bad boy listed at 469 and it's a friggin' beautiful house, right? Look at that two story walkway. This thing is ju is just beautiful, really. I mean, look at this kitchen. It's it's super duper nice, man. I I really like everything about it. But remember, this is going to be an Airbnb investment. We're not going to live there, so let's not fall in love uh, based off of just the pictures alone, right? We're going to be going over the numbers, but let's just finish cruising through all these pictures, okay? Everything is beautiful, right? All we're going to need to do is furnish this thing, and I do believe our guests are going to love it. They're going to love it for how nice it is, number one. Number two, its location, right? Right there in Cleveland, we have no issues with the Cleveland government and our Airbnb rentals, which is quite nice, and you are right on this golf course. Now, this is part of an HOA. And it does have access to a swimming pool and tennis courts that could be good for your guests. Now, here's the thing with HOAs and doing rentals with HOAs. HOAs can sometimes have restrictions attached to them. According to the listing agent, there are no HOA restrictions here. But we're going to still do our due diligence. In real estate, we got to trust but verify. We're going to do our due diligence in ensure after I read and you read the entire bylaws that that is the case, and it doesn't restrict leasing. Every once in a while, you'll find an HOA that will restrict leasing. They're saying no, but, you know, sometimes it happens where the listing agent, they're not 100% sure. They don't read through these. Sometimes these are like many pages, uh, and it takes some time to get them, right? Oftentimes, you get agents that will list the properties without having the bylaws because most of the time, most of the buyers that look at nice properties like this, they're people that are going to live there. So having a no leasing bylaw is not something that's on their brain, right? Us here at Holton Wise TV, that's all we're thinking about. So we're going to have to do an offer contingent on that. But this is going to be a banging deal, man. They're asking 469. I think we come in a little less. I think we come in at 450. As you saw, we don't have to repair anything. We just put in 25k worth of furniture. We'll be all in at 475. This being a 33, we're going to see $400 a night in our rents, right? Access to the pool, access to the golf course. You're right there in Cleveland. Great locale, man. So, it would show 148800 in annual Airbnb income if we operated it to where you rented it every day. 
But this is reality, folks. I don't sell you guys on fluff. You're not going to rent it every day. Definitely not at 400 bucks a night, right? We're probably going to rent it at about 60 to 62% of the time, right? So we got to factor in all those costs, plus my PM fees, the taxes, the insurance, the whole friggin' kit and caboodle, okay? Factor all that stuff in. You're looking at approximately $49,000 in profit, right? Now, at 475, you put down 1375 out of your pocket, right? That is going to equate to 112 as your down payment plus the 25k in furnishings, right? Obviously with a loan, you got to put down a down payment and of course we're not going to get a lender to loan you money to buy some furniture, right? So, that should project out to approximately a 24% cash on cash return or an 11 cap. My team will handle everything super strong demand right there in the heart of the city, very close to downtown, all that type of stuff, right on the golf course, man. This is like a newer development. You're going to see a lot of areas in Cleveland that are doing newer developments. This is one of those ones where they took the tax abatement uh, when the property was built, uh, and, and you see that gentrification happening in Cleveland, right? So this is a good buy uh, for possibly some appreciation because these are the kind of neighborhoods that are going to appreciate the most in the Cleveland market. And, of course, the sucker is a friggin' cash cow. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.